A new Master Chief statue may possibly reveal the release date of Halo Infinite? And how later this summer might be a really huge event for Halo beyond just the flighting process. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we have two bits of news for you guys today and we're going to be talking about first is about the toy reveal that we have for the Master Chief statue which looks so cool and where can you find it how much will it cost and does it actually hint towards the release date we'll cover that in this video as well we have a bit of a more of a theory crafting section where we're talking about potentially like some kind of event happening for the reveal of Halo Infinite's live multiplayer gameplay but if you like these kind of news and informational videos make sure to tap that like button let's me know you want to see some more content like this if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we wrap up to the release of Halo Infinite well, make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so let's start you off with the hard news and that is that there is a new statue available from dark horse that we had similar from 2020 this year for 2021 and this master chief looks so much better much more in line also with the current master chief that we saw with the multiplayer reveal of 2021 as well i don't know if you guys remember the 2020 statue that we had that was exclusive of a belief just to best buy if i remember correctly but this statue does look really awesome but as you can see it's much more in line to what we had previously with master chief from the 2020 and 2019 reveals much more clean kind of straightforward kind of like a little bit of a scuff on the chest piece but for the most part kind of standard looking nothing too crazy going on there this new statue though looks awesome now the way to get yourself one of these statues guys the blue sword or the red sword version is by going to either best buy will get you the exclusive red sword one and pretty much anywhere else you'll be able to find the blue sword version and just for a closer look you can see just like how just classic this blue sword look and just like the beat up chief look that we have right here the grapple shot in action right there it's just much more of a active kind of pose and just looks way more interesting compared to what we had in 2020. Now I had some people actually tweet at me and mention saying like, hey, does this reveal the release date of Halo Infinite? Because I know that's all we want to know, right? When can we actually play this game? Because the statue releases on November 28th, 2021, which would be right around the time we would see Halo Infinite release within the month of November. I mean, the 2020 statue did release on November 10th, which was a Tuesday, which games typically release on Tuesdays. So it would be a really good time for Halo Infinite to release would be on the 10th of November, obviously we did not see that happen. So could they correlate this again? Personally, I think no, mainly because the 28th is actually a Sunday. That's one reason why I don't believe it's gonna release. And also the release of the 28th would be right after Black Friday, which in America is the highest selling day of all products within the US. So I know that Microsoft and 343 do not wanna miss out on those holiday sales. So the game will definitely release before Black Friday which would be November 26th. So if you guys want to pick up these toys, you can go anywhere worldwide, they said, for the blue sword version. But if you want that red sword version, possibly from Jacob or Dumbnight, I'm just saying, you might have to kick his butt, take his sword. You have to go to Best Buy to go pick that one up. And I did check this out on my live news show that we do every Tuesday and Thursday evening on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below. Uh, we looked into like see if there are any kind of codes or anything else tied with this product and it does not look like it, it looks like to be straightly just a statue next part right here i'm going to a little bit of a theory crafting in a way when it comes to when we can actually get a chance to see some halo infinite multiplayer experience live as in the flighting process and i find it kind of interesting how 343 has dropped the flighting process kind of or flighting terminology or verbiage with this process and looking at it more as now as a multiplayer technical preview i know i covered this in my last video guys want to check that out that's on the channel here but just so we're on the same page for this video unishike here did reply on twitter saying that if you get a chance to see the multiplayer technical preview details will be known ahead of time it won't be a surprise so we'll know at least like a week in advance maybe even two weeks maybe even a month in advance you know you never know and how they're currently evaluating the flighting build right now for us to get a chance to play very similar to how they do it with the mcc as well and it's not really dictated by a hard date but more of just development realities of how when it's ready, it's ready kind of process. And the recent HCS blog update talks about environment with the teams and stuff like that for HCS and kind of go into really good detail about the stuff. But the thing is, and they mentioned about the partner program for HCS, but they don't actually mention any new teams. I do know, I think we have Sentinels, maybe Cloud9 and MVS have Halo Infinite teams, but we didn't actually get any announcements, which was kind of interesting. But they said something really interesting at the bottom half of this blog, saying that they're not able to share yet about which teams are available. But he also says here, also it would be 
be pretty lame if we just listed off all the teams in a blog like this. Don't worry, we and the teams are cooking up some awesome plans to make the announcement. We intend to make a lot of noise when we're ready later this summer. Which isn't the first time we've heard the phrase later this summer mentioned about Halo Infinite. Within the Halo Infinite multiplayer reveal blog update, they mentioned later this summer three separate times. One of them was talking about the experience with BTB and how, say, later this summer you'll get some more details on it. Saying later this summer we'll have some technical previews on hand for Halo Infinite's multiplayer experience as well. And again, they re-emphasized later this summer we plan to have a limited pre-release technical previews for Halo Insiders. So what could 343 be doing later this summer, which seems to be a big emphasis, possibly like even the month of September or something like that, which the last day of the summer is on September 22nd, so sometime before then. What I think we might actually see is some kind of involvement with the HDS Pro partner teams as well as the flighting process kind of being linked together to kind of create some ultimate hype bubble. Because think of it like this, how cool would it be to have like the live gameplay reveal of Halo Infinite tied alongside with the flighting process and say like if you do like some kind of live stream event with these pro teams to showcase like the cool way of how to play Halo Infinite because these guys would be able to pull off all the stops and be able to just pull some insane things that would just be the flashiest looking gameplay possible. You get the pros out there to play against each other. You can see how the game is played in real time and which I think would get people most excited about that then to sign up for the Insider program, chance to play the flight right away right after that. We've seen this done somewhat previously with Call of Duty as well. For the reveal of Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer like live stream gameplay event, they, what they did with the Activision, they actually had this whole event where people got together and played the game live. So we got a chance to see the multiplayer live for the very first time which was just awesome to see. It was just so cool to have this kind of event. And not only that, they actually brought in pro players and content creators as well along with this event. Again, just to build up the hype, get the attention of just Call of Duty Modern Warfare and how cool this experience could be. Obviously with this year being you know still involved with the pandemic, because this happened back in 2019, this is before big spooky germ days. So I don't expect to see like an in-person event, but though we definitely could because it did mention that with the HDS partner teams that they would have their flights comped as well. So they could fly in these pro teams, sign up for a LAN, get a chance to play with each other and get a chance to see the gameplay live for the first time. That would make a lot of sense to just tie this all together in just one big event. If you're gonna make a lot of noise, this kind of thing would make a lot of noise. You get a chance to see your favorite streamers, your favorite pro teams play against each other, to showcase the game and everything else in between. That would be just an awesome way to have Halo Infinite's multiplayer reveal happen for everybody. And I just would love to see this. I know I can't sound like a broken record, but this would just be such a cool way to do it. Now that I feel like this would just be peak Halo hype right there, but I you know, would like to see it happen. Do I expect to see it happen? I hope so possibly it just seems like they keep hinting at later this summer it's going to be something kind of interesting to happen make a lot of noise and have something more than just like a blog post of announcement of these teams it just makes me feel like there's going to be some kind of event with halo infinite involved pre-release something kind of happen of course this is all my theories let me know in the comment section down below if you guys feel the same if you've been out of the loop for Halo news for the last few days or so, or don't catch everything, I got a playlist right here to keep you guys updated with literally everything going on with Halo. So thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.